This is the checkmate. Russia's fifth-generation stealth fighter Su-75 Checkmate, which was unveiled nearly a year ago in Moscow, will make its first test flight in 2025. The news was announced by Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov at the International Economic Forum in St. Petersburg. Su-75 Checkmate Fighter, Features and Weapons Su-75 Checkmate is a single-engine stealth fighter. It is assumed that before the first test flights, the fighter will receive an engine is Delhi 30. This engine is expected by all Russian aviation, as it is expected to become the main propulsion element of both Su-57 and Su-35 in the future. Su-75 Checkmate will develop speed up to Mach 2 and will have a low radar signature. The armament of the Su-75 Checkmate stealth fighter will be similar to that of the Su-57. According to Yuri Slyasar, the Checkmate fighter can take over the entire range of weapons of the Su-57. This means bombs, air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, anti-ship missiles, electronic warfare systems, close combat. This fighter will also have a 30mm automatic cannon. The Su-75 Checkmate will have an unmanned version. If the tests are successful, United Aircraft Corporation Rostec will begin mass production. As mentioned above, the UAC hopes the first customer will be Russia, which is very likely. Su-75 Checkmate will be available on the international market. According to Yuri Slyasar, the company has carefully studied potential countries and regions that would be interested, or have given any signal for such, to buy this fighter. According to the company's executive director, the desired number of 300 fighters includes international customers. It is also rumored that the Su-75 Checkmate will be a budget fighter and a real competitor in the international markets of the American stealth fighter of the fifth-generation F-35 Lightning II. The Russian company Rostec has announced its intentions to begin mass production of the light stealth fighter of the fifth-generation Su-75 Checkmate in 2027. Chemizov confirmed that the prototype has been created and the designers are currently preparing the design documentation. It became clear that the prototype of the Su-75 Checkmate uses certain equipment from the already created Su-57. Chemizov said the prototype integrated the onboard computer and the Su-57's engine, but they had been reconfigured to meet the requirements of the Su-75. Moscow has not yet decided whether to buy the Su-75 for the Russian Aerospace Services. At the meeting between Chemizov and Putin, the head of Rostec expressed hope that the Russian Ministry of Defense will purchase the Su-75 Checkmate. <laughs>